All right, today I'm uh, <clears throat> potting a set of Denso ballasts. Um, I'm using the MG Chemicals Thermally Conductive Epoxy that I bought on Amazon. I bought this kit for uh, about $45, I believe. I've done, uh, this is actually my third set. Yeah, third set of ballasts that I've done on this kit, and I still have plenty more left. Uh, I have done two sets of Denso Slims, <clears throat> D2S. I'm actually doing some Denso D4S that I took out of my IS250 after I converted them to uh, LEDs. So, you know, I'm just potting this for use on my other cars. So, but <clears throat> anyways, I've already, they come in uh, two containers. It's, uh, you know, your two, basic two-part epoxy. So you got your epoxy and you got your hardener. I've already um, poured them out into their cups, uh, equal 50-50 mix. I'm gonna mix them in this container right here. So <clears throat> let me just go ahead and pour the first half of it in here. Instructions is, you know, we're gonna mix this stuff and they want you to let it sit for about half an hour <clears throat> once the, you put the two parts together to um, get rid of all the air and uh, stuff in there. Because uh, what happens is when you pour this into your, your potting, wherever you're potting, <clears throat> it's gonna, if you have any air or any um, pockets in between the epoxy as you pour it out it, if it doesn't come out smoothly onto the surface though it'll, it'll actually eventually bubble up overnight as it <clears throat> dries out and then when you wake up in the morning and you know you're done um, with the the whole potting it's gonna there's gonna be a couple air you know spots where the the air bubbles are that you're gonna miss you're gonna be missing some I learned this on my Denso slims when I did them <clears throat> and um, I think there's some people online that you could actually, yeah, you know, you let it sit for a couple of days, up to four days to kind of just air cure. Or if you want to speed it up, if you don't have time to wait, um, you can heat it up to 150 degrees in the oven for uh, two hours and it'll, it'll, it'll cure. Um, all my other ballasts, I was, you know, I didn't, I, I had some downtime, you know, I, I didn't have to put it straight back in, so I just let it sit for four hours, or four days. So, all right. So, I was, so I'm letting this stuff dry. Um, I still have some more in that kit. It's probably enough to do another ballast or two. <clears throat> but so the cups, what I end up using is acetone. I just uh, I use this as my cleanup because this stuff's pretty damn messy. Uh, it's all gloves and all over everything. So I actually just filled each cup with some acetone. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and. Um, you know, let it dissolve and then clean it up. It's, uh, so I, that way I can use those cups again. But if you end up getting to the bottom, you could probably just toss those cups. Um, but these things, man, some people probably won't even bother uh, cleaning them. Uh, they'll just use whatever uh, <clears throat> measuring cups or something later on. But, you know, I, I still have a little bit left, so I'm going to use them. Now, here's the reason why they, they tell you this let it sit for 30 minutes to de air. If you see all those little bubbles, those little air bubbles popping up there. That's what they're trying to get um, get out of this sort of mixture before you start potting your ballast or anything that you're any electronics you're trying to pot. All right, so after waiting about 30 minutes uh, to let it, all the air get out of this, I'm gonna start pouring it uh, into my ballast. <clears throat> Filled out all the spots 
I'm gonna let it sit here for uh, four days and see how it turns out. Um, we'll see if there's any gaps or any air bubbles or any of that in four days. All right, so I've let it cure for a couple days. It's solid now. As you can tell, it um, kind of molded and you know filled in all the contours and crevices. It's kind of um, it's not smooth. It's because I took when I was laying it out to get it kind of even. I took the, um, the ice cream uh, stick and I was spreading it out a little. So when it did. I thought it was smooth when it did, but then eventually, I guess those uh, lines from the ice cream stick kind of bubbled up, so it uh, gave it a little bit of imperfection. But uh, you know, still not not bad. It's sealed, potted, you know, waterproof now. So you know, I you could just mount this straight to the car outside of the headlight, wherever you want, uh, and it should be um, waterproof and last a long time.